What's coming up in 2021 for Ask RC? Well, I am not a prophet, nor am I the son of a prophet, but I can tell you about a few things that I would like to see happen, and some of which I'm actually planning to bring to pass. Uh, but the Word of God tells us not to uh, boast about the future and say, tomorrow I'm going to go into the city and buy and sell and make a profit. But remember that this is all if the Lord wills. So, among the uh, changes that you may see in the coming year, maybe not on July, or excuse me, on January 1st, but in the coming year, uh, would be this. It's my hope, it's my intention to uh, sort of uh, get past my fears and bring this to you with video as an option as well. Uh, my fears are not that I'll be so ugly that you won't tune in, though that might be a legitimate fear. Uh, my fears are more technological. I don't feel uh, quite as comfortable with managing the process of video as I do with audio. But I also am encouraged by the fact that when I started this, I wasn't comfortable with the audio either, uh, but I am learning and growing. So I'd like to be able to present these to you on uh, video, and I hope to do it in the not-too-distant future. Another uh, option may be uh, moving this out of being strictly uh, released on YouTube. My other podcast, Jesus Changes Everything, uh, goes through uh, all or most of the usual podcast uh this distribution uh, media, but Ask RC is only on YouTube, and uh, that may change as well. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, the third thing I'd like to see in the coming year is simply this. I, I want just a lot more back and forth with you, the listener. I would love to receive questions from you that you'd like to see addressed. And by you, I mean any of you. Uh, if you are uh, a Christian who has some questions about theological matters or biblical matters or even the application of biblical wisdom to current situations, I'm happy to address those. If you're an unbeliever and you think that uh, the arguments that I'm making are silly or foolish or dumb uh, or you know, you've know you got a challenging kind of question, send it my way. I would be happy to take a look at it and see if it's something that I can help with. If you're somewhere in between, if you are a... Uh, person who's got a level of curiosity about the Christian faith, or even if you find it appealing, but there's something standing in your way that maybe you can't seem to get around, ask the question, and I'd be delighted to take it up. You know, it's true in the classroom. I've been a, a professor uh, for many, many years, and you know, professors are known for that cliche, there are no stupid questions. Uh, I'm not sure that that's quite accurate. It might be a bit of an exaggeration, but uh, I always would encourage my students saying, look, whatever question you have, not only will you be blessed if you ask the question because you'll get your answer, uh, I'll be blessed if you ask the question because it'll help me know what I wasn't clear on. And perhaps most importantly of all, all your friends in this class will probably be blessed because many of them may be wondering the same thing. Well, how much more can that be multiplied in this particular uh, medium? If you've got a question, something that's just really hard for you, something that you're struggling with, uh, you could be a help simply by asking it and be a help to who knows how many people that might could hear this. Remember that part of my uh, strategy here is to try to discern what questions uh, especially unbelievers, but also believers might be asking themselves to form the question in a way that it might uh, catch uh, the eye of a, a search engine and to provide uh, faithful, orthodox, historically Protestant, reformed, biblical answers. That's what my goal is. And the more specific, the more personal these answers can be directed at your questions, I think the better Ask RC is going to be. So this Ask RC, I'm asking you, and I'm RC, 
I'm asking you, please uh, Im- help us improve in the coming year uh, by participating more fully, commenting in the YouTube places, but also uh, sending in those questions. <laughs>